Brian Bankert with Pop News. <laughs> A big get well soon. We're collectively saying get well soon to Pink. She's had some health issues while on the Australian leg of her beautiful trauma tour. The three-time Grammy winner has had to postpone or cancel four of her shows. The singer admitted to the hospital twice within a span of like 24 hours. Diagnosed first with dehydration and then a stomach virus. On Instagram, Pink wrote, a lot of you know how physical my shows are, that I don't just stand in front of a microphone and sing. I flip, dance, harness, silk, and she, she's doing everything in her shows. So she needs to be in the best physical physical health in order to perform. And she says, I think all of you deserve the full show and me at my best. So she's taking some time to rest and recover and plans to take the stage again this Saturday. So a quick recovery to her. And she, her concerts are some of the most physically demanding of anybody. Yeah. It's like Cirque du Soleil meets amazing song. So uh, want to know a secret? I got a secret for you. Ryan Reynolds is not one but two characters in his smash sequel, Deadpool 2. Actor Stefan Kapasik, who was Deadpool rival Colossus, revealed to The Hollywood Reporter that one day on set, as he was putting on his motion capture suit for the next scene, there, of all people, was the lead star Ryan Reynolds, also putting on CGI gear to play the evil nemesis Juggernaut. So it turns out Reynolds did the voice and facial expressions to bring Juggernaut to life. Oh. And nobody on the cast knew. Deadpool 2 has earned over 732 million worldwide. Wow. Yeah. I'm not old enough to see Deadpool 2. I'm not ready. What did you say? I'm not old enough you to see Deadpool 2. No, no. And, and he's such a good guy. It's great to see good things happen to good people. So oh my gosh. Good. Huge success. Finally, here's a story about the House of Brady. <laughs> failed attempt to buy, buy, buy the Brady Bunch house. You've heard about this, right? Well, it quickly turned into a very Brady mystery when an unnamed corporate buyer with unlimited resources swooped in and outbid Bass. He was devastated. He was heartbroken on Twitter. Now the mystery has been solved. The winning bidder is, drum roll please, HGTV. Wow. Parent company Discovery says it plans to restore the house to its former 1970s glory as only HGTV can. So what does Bass think? He tweeted his approval saying, how can you be mad at HGTV? That's my true. TV's stuck on that channel. Guilty. <laughs> Kudos, I know yeah. you'll do the right thing with that house. That was always my biggest worry. So they're not going to demolish it. They're going to restore it. And now I it want the audience to help sense. me. You guys know the last line of the Brady Bunch song? That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. because we are like the Brady Bunch, one big, happy, mixed, wonderful family. That's true. <laughs> Blended family. Yes, we are. <laughs> Girl, you love to sing. <laughs> I sing because I'm happy, right? That's right. Yes. I love that about <laughs> Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.